Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to reference another node or um, another piece of content with a node reference field. So we're going to be using the project references field. So uh, if you go to drupal.org slash project slash references, you can get this module. However, a, a small word of warning to say that uh, uh, the you know the past couple months have shown the current maintainers are not up to the task. This module accepts new maintainers, so uh, there could be some bugs or there could be some things to work out. And it also said that they might be dumping this module in favor of entity reference. Since right now uh, I haven't had any problems with references and it works for what we're trying to do, I'm going to show you how to use references. And in the future, we'll go over entity reference. Okay, so check out references and uh, do download the latest version. Um, as you can see, it's not extremely new, um, 2011, but uh, it works fine. So uh, after you have the module installed, go to your content types, and I'm going to create a new content type. So just to note, I'm actually doing this on the live Level Up Tut site. I wouldn't actually recommend working on a live site, uh, but you know, this isn't really anything crazy here. And not to mention, um, the site is really just up just to have something um, and it's in no way in any completed state in fact it's a long ways away from it so we figured that we would show you a little bit of the building process while we're making these tutorials and you can see sort of how we put it together okay so i'm going to make a content type and this content type is going to be called courses so the way we have the tutorials right now is let's say we have like 50 some drupal tutorials and they go in an order but the order isn't always uh you know, some of the times there's like three views tutorials in a row and then we'll do something else and then three more views tutorials. So we want to have all those views tutorials together in one course. And the way I'm going to accomplish that is by creating a content type called course with node references um, that link the classes to the course. So I'm going to give this a course title. I'm going to turn off commenting for now. I might turn on discuss commenting later, uh, depending on what people want for the site. And I'm going to save and add fields. Okay, so the first field we're going to add is just going to be called the uh, the parent. Well, we'll just be the topic. This will be the uh, this will be what the uh, the tutorial course is on. So this is going to be field topic, and then I'm going to pick a node reference field. Um, in, in our modules, you just want to enable all of the references modules. I'm sorry, I actually skipped over this part. Um, but if we go to reference, uh, you want node reference and uh, references, and you can enable the other ones if you'd like. Uh, but we're pretty much just going to be using references and node reference. Okay, so this is going to be a node reference field. And we're going to have this one be checkboxes or radio buttons. Okay, and I'm going to save this. And now we're going to add some of the things here. We want this to be able to have more than one topic. Let's say it relates to um, CSS and Drupal or something. We want to have it to be able to be under both of those. So we'll say that it can pick its uh, what content types can be referenced. We're going to say that uh, category pages can be referenced. So what category pages are in our site is a category page is like Drupal, WordPress, Magento. Um, and so these are the sort of blanket topics. And then the courses is what we're doing right now. And the videos are individual videos. Okay, so we'll save this field settings can only use category pages. And um, there's no default value. However, it can use multiple values if we'd like. If we have this be use one value, it's going to just be a radio button. But if we use unlimited, it's going to be checkboxes. So let's save this. And let's add another node reference. This is going to be uh, included videos. So we'll just have this be uh, videos, um, course of videos. And then actually, I'm going to name this course just to keep things consistent. And then field type is also going to be a node reference. However, this time it's going to be an autocomplete text field. And we'll show you exactly how that works in a second. I'm going to save and add this. And I'm going to only allow content types that are videos or content that's a video to be in this. And we're going to have number of values be unlimited because we want to have as many videos that's related to this course as possible. Let's save this. And now we can start adding some content. Let's go to add content. And I'm going to add a new course. 
and this course is going to be on views. So I'm going to write views here. And then, uh, in, you know, and later I'm going to have like a description in body, but we'll just leave it blank for now. And we're going to say this is a Drupal tutorial and course videos. Now what I can do is start typing views and you'll see anything that comes up with views. These are all the tutorials we've done on views. They'll pop up here. So I'm going to click this one and now it's relating this node number 423 to our uh, course. So let's add another one. You, all you have to do is click to add another item. And then I'm going to keep going on all of these. In fact, I'm only going to do a couple of them right now. And I'll go back and add them on my own time. Because you don't need to see me just go and add more tutorials like this. Uh, but let's keep it like that. And I'm not going to worry about a menu link right now. I'm going to save this piece of content. And now let's check out our content. The way it outputs it by default here is here's our page is views. And uh, since we didn't modify any of the, the display or anything, our topic is going to be Drupal tutorials. What that does is it links to the Drupal tutorials page, which again, like I said, this site is, you know, at not even close to being in a, you know, working or viewable condition here. But uh, just bear with me here. And then let's go back here. Core videos are going to be any of these. You can click on those. And what it does is it links you right to that content. And here's that tutorial with its description and its discuss comments. Okay, so that's how you use node reference to reference other pieces of content. In the next tutorial, I'm going to use views to output that content in a little bit different way to make this a little bit more useful for us, okay? So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. And thanks for watching.